Hello to all traders. Once again, we are back with another Market Insights video looking on the pound pairs today, well, the cable in particular, as a lot of eyes are on the Bank of England this afternoon as they're about to raise their biggest rate hike in almost 30 years by 50 basis points uh, to tame this inflation. Uh, scenario that's happening across the globe and obviously in the UK up over 9% at the moment year on year. It's not looking like it's going to come down anytime soon. The Bank of England is trying its best to uh, get out of this uh, stagnation, which is sorry, stagflation, which is really, really uh, weighing down on a lot of homes around the world and also in the UK more particular today. So Bank of England, the main subject today, uh, we had the Fed last week that are still aggressively raising rates. And now the Bank of England, US, European Central Bank as well, is also on in line to start raising rates as well. But more importantly, what will this mean for cable? We've had a lot of interaction with the American dollar in the last few weeks. So we'll switch our attentions to the pound as well. But you have to say that it's very bad news for people that have got loans, people that have got uh, credit cards to pay off and things like this because inflation is still soaring. And obviously now rate hikes are going to be uh, higher as well. So is this going to be a happy medium for a lot of people? Probably not in the near term as the Bank of England and other traders and analysts think that inflation will actually top 15% by the end of the year. So if that comes into fruition, we'll see if that's going to have any bearing, uh, any big moves on the pound pairs as well. So looking on cable, first of all today, we are seeing a bit of a snap in um, price action. This is on the four hour chart. I've put it down onto intraday because I didn't want to go on daily, uh, do daily just uh, at the moment. We're looking now that prices are moving away from this bullish scenario. We've had this kind of ascending uh, channel for quite a few sessions now. But as you can see, we are dropping out of it and consolidating to the mid to lower 121 region as well. So what we're thinking at the moment is going to be a little bit more consolidation until we get the announcement from the Bank of England and then we can see prices move higher. We're saying this because when the Fed announced uh, their rate hike, the euro dollar pair actually jumped by over 50 pips. So we're looking at another move to the upside for the pound dollar at the moment. But that can also uh, have a detrimental reading and then move a little bit lower as well once we've seen this snap to the upside. At the moment though, we're looking at a consolidation scenario just above the top border of the Ichimoku cloud. If we're looking on the one hour chart as well, quite significantly, we are still seeing this consolidation and prices are now being weighed slightly by the Ichimoku cloud. So if we do get a snap to the upside, it could only be a few pips, possibly 50, 60 pips, which isn't such a big move in the market in the, this time. Uh, and we might see another gap in the market possibly and then uh, exhaustion and then a move lower. So at the moment, we're just seeing what the main news is from the Bank of England. Well, we know it's pretty much uh, a given that they will raise um, the basis, the, the, sorry, yeah, they, they raise, raise the hike, uh, hike the rate, sorry, lost my words there, um, hike the rate by 50 basis points and we'll see how much of a big upturn in the market that will bring us. Now let's just look on the euro dollar because going back to the 27th of July when the announcement was made that the Fed will raise its um, interest rates we saw this move from as I said roughly the uh, lower end of the 101 and then it actually reached uh, above the 102 so we could be looking for a 50 to 100 pip move on cable as well similar to euro dollar even though it's pretty much priced in that the Fed was hiking rates from the beginning of the year it didn't stop traders in the market from being a bit buoyant um, against uh, the, the dollar as well so we're looking at the moment what the concerns are in the economies not only in Europe but around the world obviously Europe is supposed to be falling into a recession and the UK by the end of the year similar to the uh, to America you know two negative readings on GDP data does spell uh, for quite a rough ride but if we're looking in the near term for uh, the euro dollar as well just want to keep an eye on this as we go into today's session we're now looking to see a slight progression in the market and if we see a break on this lot bottom border of the Ichimoku cloud, we could see another move to the upside cloud engulfment. And then we can see possibly these other regions being hit by the end of the trading week, which is only tomorrow. Obviously, we've got the NFP 
tomorrow as well. Uh, it's supposed to be a detrimental reading for jobs numbers, but it is still in positive territory. So it's something to keep an eye out for as well if the, we see a strong dollar or not. And just want to plug and uh, my to join me for my webinar tomorrow. It will be live with my market analyst, Daniel, who will also take us through the comings and goings of the last month and to see what our price predictions are for the rest of August as well. So don't forget to join us for that. Sign up and book your seat. And obviously we'll be there to answer any live questions you may have on big commodities, uh, gold and oil, and obviously the main forex pairs in the market as well. So that's all from today's video. So join me tomorrow for tomorrow's webinar on the NFP, and we'll speak again then. Bye for now.